Hello everyone, Heartful Butterfly here, and welcome to a drawing of Rosette. I don't really know what to call this character yet, so if you have any better ideas, please let me know. Because I just want to, um, I, I just can't think of a good name for her. I'm sorry that this video, uh, as you can see on screen, this will go into, um, landscape mode and not say portrait mode forever. But, um, this idea actually isn't original. I should say that real quick. I found- I kind of- The reason why it's not original is because Matthew Patrick made me realize that this is something that the community hadn't really thought of. Of what- of what- Like, no one did Rosalina before for whatever reason, which is a little weird. I figured I'd go ahead and put in a clip of- where this idea came into my head so that you can see the context of what sparked my brain in wanting to draw this little character. Here we- here it is. Right... now. And safe sites. Did anyone actually stop to consider what happens when toads other than Toadette touch this thing? Like, say, yellow toad. Yahoo! And what's the other main color of toad? Oh yeah, blue. Woo! Did that just blow your mind? Ah, oh, wait, never mind, you're still busy looking at- But yeah, that's where it came from. I just thought it was interesting that no one had thought about doing it with Rosalina or Daisy before. I looked it up before making this drawing, just because I was curious if there was something of it, but I didn't find anything. It was mainly just Booette, Bowser, Toadette, maybe even Waluigi yet. I'm kidding, I didn't see that last one. I wish so- I really hope that someone would do Waluigi at, as Peach. That'd be funny. Um, but yeah, um, I kind of- for this drawing, I kind of went with just, like, the little promotional art of- of Toadette going into Peachette. I wonder how many times I'm gonna say et in this video. Whatever. But, um, and just kind of did it with a blue toad. I actually probably, looking back on this, I don't think I should have changed, you'll see me coloring it later, but I don't, I don't really think I should have changed the color of the crown just because it was a blue toad. Just because it, it isn't, it doesn't, it's not the exact same as the original. And I was trying to copy the original while also being, also making it, of course, a little different since it's a completely different character and stuff like that. Um, also, I'm sorry if this doesn't turn out as amazing as some of you want it to be. I just, I can't draw good enough with that. I can draw, like, little cartoony chibi characters, but that's about it as far as my expertise. This is, usually, whenever I draw these, I use, like, I use other chibi fan art to look at, but this time I actually just looked at the characters and kind of went with it and saw what happened. If you know Rosalina, I mean, if you know the character, um, Toadette and what Peachette looks like, you'll notice that her little pigtails are three little sections, but since Rosalina has shorter hair, I made it two, only two, because I think she has the shortest of the Disney princesses besides Daisy. I was honest, because during this part, what I did to get the colors exactly right was I had that picture up up right here of Rosalina so that I could get all the colors of her and put it into the drawing. I was honestly surprised how tan Rosalina was. I didn't remember her being that tan. To get into the actual design of this dress, it's pretty much just um, the peachette dress, but with some- with a little bit more Rosalina, where it's long-sleeved instead of a short poofy dress. It has her little shawl and the little bow is is a part of the little star, star brooch that's on her shawl. For coloring the dress, I just used different part, parts of the shading of Rosalina's dress. The top half was the, light, the lightest color of the dress, minus the sleeve parts. And then the little middle band, the waistband, was the darkest color. And then the skirt was kind of an in-between. Because... That's kind of what the original drawing was like. It had, it was 
it wasn't just one solid shade of hot pink. It was multiple different shades. Sorry, I was trying to think. I just wanted to pause for a second because I've been talking for like five minutes straight and kind of just rambling my head off. I... I also should say that, um... The reason why they seem more squished together at the beginning is because they were. Whenever I drew it, I drew them really far apart. So whenever I imported the image of my drawing into this drawing program, they were very, very far apart. So I used editing to, I kind of like, I put each of the line arts of the, of the drawings in a different layer so that I could, I could squish them kind of closer together. And this is how it turned out. Also, um, as I'm making this, sometimes you'll see my actual... Uh, you'll see me messing around outside of the... Outside of drawing this. And that's because I just am a dum-dum and kept forgetting to shut off the screen recorder until a little bit too late into it. But that's fine. Somewhere in here, I have problems coloring the oh yeah also also this part right here is supposed to be more of a whitish color but I liked I like the idea of it being like Rosalina's original dress where the kind of underskirt was this dark gray color which is why it's the color that it is and then instead of leaving these little dots little circles of the dress just completely white I decided to make it a light blue because I think that the original dress, uh, the original Peachette dress is like that, too. Most of these drawings of, like, the Bowsette and Peachette, what they are is that they're just different versions of Princess Peach. When, really, it should be different versions of Toadette's dress. So, I'm honestly surprised that I think this might be the, one of the ones, only ones where people actually use the promotional dress of Peachette. <laughs> also, fair warning... This meme is probably going to be dead when this comes out, just because I am very slow at getting into trends, and by the time I made this the day after the, um, the game theory over, um, Peachette came out, so I don't know when I'll actually upload this. I'm going to probably try to upload it next week. Speaking of that, I forgot to upload this weekend. I need to do that. I'll do that after I'm finished with this voiceover. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I have, I know that my videos haven't been as creative lately. They've just been kind of random silly stuff, but that's mainly because I just, I haven't sat down and recorded anything in months. I, whenever I get into the recording mode, the mood to record and, like, make videos and stuff, I go a little crazy, <laughs> and I make all these, like, little cute short one-off videos, and I just keep them on private until I have, um, time to do it, which is a good thing because I'm in school, I go to college, and if I didn't have that, well, we wouldn't have videos for a very long time because college is time-consuming. The cool thing is I'm almost done with my associates, after I have, after the one that I'm in right now, I only have one more, um, one more semester to go, so that's fun. It took a little longer than two years, but the problem with that is that I finally decided what I wanted my, I, I was in general studies, and then only recently, and then it took me, like, a semester t or two to decide what I actually wanted to do as far as, um, like, real life stuff. <laughs> And because of that, I ended up kind of being a semester behind of getting all my classes. So I decided to go into a degree, like a, I think it, I just, the degree that I wanted to go into is one that requires a lot of classes. So <laughs> it took me a while to be able to get it to, um, get, get to do all of it. Sorry, I kind of lost my train of thought in the middle of that sentence. Hey, we're on the eye already. Um, 
There is some stuff that I cut out in this just because there was stuff that I was literally doing the same thing for like probably close to 20 minutes and no one wants to see that. So yeah, I'm just, and I just, I don't want you to sit through just me spinning around the screen for like 20 minutes trying to fix something. That happened twice. There were two really big ones, but it wasn't that big. All right, so this is, well, right now you just see her eye, but in a second you'll see the full drawing right here. This is what my creation Rosalette looks like. I hope you like it. I thought it turned out really cute. And this is Heart of a Butterfly signing off.